Anyway, now I want to introduce that glamorous Columbia star, Miss Rita Hayworth. Right here. Thank you, Bob, for that lovely introduction. Well, how do you like this crowd of soldiers? What do you think of these soldiers here tonight, huh? I think they're wonderful, Bob. I love soldiers. And I'd like to kiss every one of them as part of my duty to my country. Yeah, well, the entire audience will now rise and sing God Bless America, right? <laughs> well, tell me, Rita, have they been keeping you busy? Yes, Bob, I just finished a picture. You were never lovelier. What's that? You were never lovelier. Well, I like the way you do your hair, too. <laughs> No, that's the name of the picture, Bob. I made it with Fred Astaire, the great dancer. Are you kidding? Well, I can dance just as good as Fred Astaire. Just watch this, Rita. There. <clears throat> Boy, will you be in a spot when television comes in? <laughs> Listen, you might as well face it, Bob. You know, you're no Astaire. I've seen you at dances, and, and you should really learn to dance correctly. What for? I like my own method. It's less tiring. <laughs> well, maybe. But uh, I want to tell you very honestly, girls feel a little silly on the floor, carrying you around piggyback. <laughs> well, for waltzes, I don't use the spurs. But anyway, I... <laughs> You know, I can't understand what you see in Fred Astaire. How about me as your leading man in your next picture, Rita? Oh, I'm sorry, Bob, but I like men that are daring and adventurous. Mm -hmm. Men that can duel with knives. What would you do if you had a knife in your hand? Uh, get as much butter on it and I couldn't run like the devil. Just run! <laughs> I have to get this butter off my tongue while I'm there. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you want a handsome leading man, Rita? Well, Bob, you're quite good-looking, but you're not as handsome as some of the men I know. Is that right? Yeah, uh-huh. For instance, there's uh, Cary Grant. Really? He has a very attractive cleft at his chin. Cleft, huh? Well, I'm glad I haven't got one. Why? You lose a lot of coffee down that groove. <laughs> you know, you know, I really enjoyed the road to Morocco, Bob, especially that scene where you turned into a monkey. <laughs> Yes, that was quite a transformation, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but I suppose now you're gradually going to get back to normal, aren't you? I don't know. The way I go for banana splits has got me worried here. <laughs> get my delivery tonight. Isn't that a doll? <laughs> oh. While I'm down here bum. at uh, Palm Springs, I've been driving around the farms to see if I can pick up some butter and eggs to take home. You know, they're very scarce now. Well, you're telling me I don't use butter at all anymore, Rita. You don't? Well, what are you putting on your bread now? Johnson's glow coat. <laughs> are you listening, Fibber? But did you manage to buy anything at the farms you went to? Well, I went to one farm this morning, and I met the cutest farm boy. As I pulled up in my car, he came out to the gate. You! Hello there. Oh, howdy, ma'am. Are you a gal from the city? Yes. Well, my ma warned me about gals in the city. <laughs> she did? Yeah, but mowing around, so come on in. <laughs> What are you doing there, milking that cow? Or... No, ma'am, just taking off the Christmas bulbs. <laughs> what a ridiculous idea. You mean you had the cow decorated up for Christmas? Yeah, but it didn't work out. Bossy's been giving milk when she ain't supposed to. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, every time the tinsel tickles her, she giggles two quarts. <laughs> are, uh, are you the only one who works on this farm? Well, my Uncle Zeke used to work here, too. Poor what, Uncle Zeke. What happened to your uncle? All one day he got a Sears Roebuck catalog mixed up with a copy of Esquire and went crazy filling out order blanks. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't suppose I should say this, but you got holes in the front of your shoes. Oh, well, that's the style now. All girls have holes in the front of their shoes, just like mine. Yeah, but if you ain't careful, them radishes will drop out. <laughs> Goodness, I haven't met anyone like you since I saw Idiot's Delight. But, <laughs> Who was it? Uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're kind of cute. 
I'll bet your parents were happy when you were born. Born? What's that? <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's when the stork brought you. Oh, you can't kid me. No stork ever brought me. No? No, my pa got me at a yearling sale. <laughs> I came down here to see if I could buy some eggs. How much are your eggs, Elma? Well, you know, there's quite a shortage of eggs, ma'am. There ain't none around, and chicken feed is higher now, so with the war and all, I gotta charge more. Well, how much are they? Well, you better prepare yourself for a shock, ma'am. What's the price? Well, you can take them or leave them, but I gotta get eight cents a dozen. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take them. Okay, I can let you have a quart of eggs. A quart of eggs? Yeah, I'm speeding up the hands with music, and they don't have time to put the shells around them. <laughs> And uh, I'd also like to buy some butter from you Well, why don't you buy it in town? Well, you see, there's quite a... Uh, have you been in town lately? Nope, none of us have been to town in over a year Fine I'd like to buy ten pounds of butter How much is it? Two dollars a pound We got a radio, you know <laughs> Tell me, is it difficult working on the farm? Oh, sometimes I sure hope the milking goes all right today Yesterday I missed the pail with the last three squirts Oh, <laughs> Goodness, did you get any of it on you? Any of it on me, shucks. I got a zoot suit with a cream seam. <laughs> Say, I'll sell you some milk and you can make your own butter. Well, does your cow give much milk? No, not anymore. Bossy knows all about rationing. She does? Oh, sure, I'll show you. I'll milk her again. Now watch. Moo. <laughs> moo. No moo. Now a request number that was to make a lot of people happy. The professor himself singing Conchita and so forth and so forth will pass. Come on, Jerry, whack it. He was a handsome young Irish lad and she was a Mexican beauty. It was Fiesta and I might add romantically he was on a duty. A boy and a girl and he's a Sahara. I can tell it in a sick city for a bar. His Irish heart went bingo when he saw the rose of Juarez. <coughs> Conchita, Marquita, Dalita, Pepita, Rosita, Juanita, Lopez. Oh, you're a lovely thing, oh. For me, there's but one girl, he says. Conchita, Marquita, Dalita, Pepita, Rosita, Juanita, Lopez Mandolin began to play And her lips were there to kiss As they danced I heard him say New Jersey was never like this The bells began to ring off And they rode away on a mule To prove I'm not joking If you're in Hoboken Drop in for a minute and you'll Meet Conchita, Marquita, Dalita, Pepita, Rosita, Juanita, or two to see one her heart one night with the serenade beneath the moonlight. Bella passione, bella passione. Bella passione, tu me fai New Jersey was never like this oh. The bells began to ring off And they rode away on a mule To prove I'm not joking If you're in Hoboken Drop in for a minute and you'll Meet on Chita Marquita Lalita Hip hip the heavy pizza Rita Juanita Oh 